Hello everyone, welcome to a modern video. I am uh, back from Naples where I top forward the original championship qualifying for the Pro Tour. Uh, so I'm sure, uh, you know, uh, since I'm live on stream, you know how my, how my YouTube video works, that I, I stream them. So I'm, I'm assuming that it's going to be a lot of that. Uh, but, you know, to my <laughs> YouTube uh, followers, uh, we had, uh, had, uh, had a wonderful weekend and I'm back on my schedule so stacking up those uh, youtube videos you know how i like to make one video per day on youtube this means that uh, you know when i'll be going to minneapolis for like 10 days i have to do a lot of uh, you know work ahead which is something i enjoy doing for sure youtube lets you uh you know whereas on twitch you have to be live every day um to be constant uh, on youtube you can uh, you know uh, accrue the work in some days which is definitely something uh, that fits my uh, schedule much better but nonetheless uh, welcome everyone to a five color creativity video i've been wanting to do this video for a long time since this is a list i've been working with a lot in my february power ranking on channel fireball i ranked creativity second best deck in modern just after merc died but that doesn't mean it's 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 you know if you if you're new to modern and people uh, like, if a very good player asks me about what deck they should build in modern, I usually tell them uh, creativity because it is, uh, um, it is, I would say, uh, less, um, more intuitive than like playing Merc Tide or other combo decks. So, you know, if you are, uh, it's, at the end of the day, it is a one card combo deck, but it, it has such a huge power level that you can win with uh, just carried, uh, uh, just carried by the, the strong power level of your deck. Uh, what else to say? Yeah, so I made in February a free article on Channel Fireball with a celebrity guide for this deck, which was the list was very uh, very similar to this one. But I was playing Abundant Grow over Strike It Rich. Uh, but nonetheless, go check out on Channel Fireball. The website is super easy to browse through. Uh, if you um, if you haven't yet, if you don't have CFB Pro, you can still read uh, some of the articles like the power rankings that they make every month. Uh, as well as uh, uh, one uh, article per month, I make it free. I made free uh, is a Merc guide on um, uh, in uh, January, and then a, a, a creativity guide in February. So again, this list is very similar to this one, except I have Strike It Rich. So the reason why I replaced Abundant Grow with Strike It Rich is because. Strike It Rich, you can cast it after they make a Blood Moon, whereas Abundant Grow, it's fantastic. Fantastic if you play before they play Blood Moon, but it's not as good after. Okay, so that's the the the, the difference. Um, like if I could draw Boon and Grow every game, I would prefer it over Striker Rich, but that's not exactly uh, you know, how Magic works. And you should build your deck for the fail cases more than for always having cards at the right time. Uh, another important cut that I made was cutting Bozaju. I used to play a lot of Bozaju, but I just realized that against Hammer, Bozaju Ren is just it's something that eventually happens, but it's not necessarily, like, it's not necessarily good. Like, if two mana for uh, an Assassin's Trophy, it's not fantastic. And so this is why I decided to cut him entirely, just zero in the 75. Uh, I have uh, Wear Tear instead. Uh, what else we got? We got Iona to name white against Elementals. We got Emrakul as extra cards against Orbird decks plus a Necromancia decks. We have Turn the Earth for the Living and Bird matchup. Veil of Summer and Flash of Storm. And that's it. <laughs> that, that's the end of the sideboard. But yeah, I'll definitely keep up the guide open because I wrote this a long time ago and obviously I don't remember every cyber plan in the world. But uh, let me greet some of the people that subbed now. All right, Daniel, hello. Thank you for your uh, kind words, and look at that, I'm playing your deck. Kiori, 44 months, and Danny with 5. Alright guys, thank you, thank you for the support. From now on, we'll have the Tulu Tulu sound. You know how in the uh, deck guide, I don't put the Tulu Tulu sound. But yeah, now the sound is on. 5 color creativity, vamonos. Why would you put Emrakul in the main deck? Because uh, creatures, in order to be good, they need to have an enter the battlefield effect, otherwise they're bad. And um, so we have Archon of Cruelty instead, because you cur you put Emrakul in play, your opponent Solages, the Fairy, or whatever, and then it's bad. 
So yeah, enter the battlefield effect, so you gain the value immediately from a card. I joined the dark side today. Uh, there's no side. Um, every deck is uh, good, every deck is happy. The only goal in Magic the Gathering is to win. No true true song for you, yeah, exactly. I'm sorry. Hello, Ari. Buongiorno. Hello, hello, everyone. So, creatures without antibody field effect are bad. Um, there's obviously some exceptions, but uh, if you take that as a general rule, you will definitely improve your card evaluation, yes. Because a Merc Tide Regent is an exception, but not really. I mean, I'm only playing two Merc Tides in my deck, so. I do believe that even for Merc died, yes. And obviously Stack Your Rich has another upside is that it makes that artifact. So you can uh, just go like Strike Your Rich on turn one and then on turn four you can go creativity on it without um, uh, expose yourself to a lightning bolt. Fire Nice is a very cool card, yes indeed. Thank you, Ops. Could you give an example of a good creature without an enter the battlefield effect? Yeah, I think Merc Tide. It's honestly the only one that comes to my mind. Magic has evolved past uh, when like Dark Confident was a good card. Well, Ragaman has haste, so that doesn't count. One drop and haste creature don't count. It looks like they have enter the battlefield effect because they're coming to play so early or they have haste. Alright, let's go. Okay, we play 25 lands and we play many card advantage tools. Uh, only one, uh, only one uh, persist, so I don't like to keep Archon to discard it so that I can draw persist. I think that's a failing uh, plan. Congrats on getting a better place than Yellow Hat. It is not easy, I would say. It is not easy these days to get a better placement than the one and only Yellow Hat. Um, I'm just playing the Catcher Triumph. If I draw two lands, it's unfortunate, but I'll cycle them with Prismari Command. I have two more Triumphs, so. All right, let's hope for no Ragam on turn one. Oh, very nice. No Ragavan turn one. And I just F6 here. If they play consider end of turn, I'll let them have it. We don't uh, beat Merc Die by countering. Ooh. We're playing against Living End. Okay, Living End is a matchup that's very interesting. We do have a lot of counter spells and turn the earth after sideboard, but main deck, our combo can just be a reset by Living End. So we have to be very careful. Did I make any change to my standard deck? No, I love the list. Um, uh, um, we are recording a podcast today with the Carnies. The full Carnies are reunited. All of us played Grixis. All of us did well. So we're definitely going to spend a lot of time talking about standard. On my YouTube channel, I don't often talk about standard, but it is definitely a topic for competitive Magic players since uh, it is the upcoming... Uh, it is the upcoming uh, format of... Uh, The original championship. I think I like to tap a land in upkeep. If you tap a land in their upkeep, they cannot play much. And I just want to draw something, you know? Would you prefer Creativity or Merc Tide in this moment? Me personally, Creativity, um, sorry, Merc Tide, I think it's the best deck uh, by the way I know it and how I play it. But if you're not as experienced with Merc Tide, uh, it's creativity, yes. Ar Arnau B14, thank you for the five months sub, welcome. Was I not qualified for the Pro Tour? No, uh, Pro Tour privileges have expired uh, last year. Uh, nobody's qualified for anything outside of all of Famers, which are qualified for one uh, Pro Tour uh, only. Okay, I drew creativity. Very happy. Let's just land go here.
What year am I eligible for the Hall of Fame? Uh, many years ago, but they discontinued the Hall of Fame. After 2019, they said no more Hall of Famers. Our Magic players don't like them. No, I don't know why they did that. It's just Magic decisions thrown at Dart. It's the classic. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is uh, take a uh, Dwarven Mine and cast a Prisma Recommend leaving one blue mana up. A Dwarven Mine. And then play Prismari Command with the two medium modes, but it, it happens that you loot and make a treasure. But it's important that we leave up uh, blue mana for spell peers. So they have four cards, they know my hand. Uh, sorry, actually, they don't have the spell peers on my hand. Living End is a very good deck, for sure. Allora. Uh, I discard for sure the Steam Vents, and do I want to also discard the Leyline Binding? I think so. Leyline Binding sounds pretty bad here. Let's go. Uh, so here I can go Land Spell Pierce X equal to. I think it's good. Yes, I like to do that. Maybe I shouldn't do that though, because they just go land living end, land cascade spell, and they kill my two tokens. But I'll draw two more cards in the meanwhile. I think it's okay, I'll do that. This is exactly the, what I was talking before. The enter the battlefield effect will make so that if my opponent resolves my board, I still got card advantage. And I'm okay with it. You would have played Ren. My problem is that uh, if they just go land cascade spell, um, I can't, my spell piece doesn't work anymore. So I need to uh, make the spell piece relevant right now. Like they can't Arcast Force of Negation, for example, right now, whereas next turn they can on my creativity. Yeah, so they cascade and I'll play spell piece. If they play Force of Negation, yeah, it's bad, it's very bad, but. Uh, the longer the game goes, it's not it's not going better. So they have three cards. If they have force of negation now, um, I'm screwed. I lose. Okay, looks like they don't have it. So I get two Archon. They go to one card in end. And if it's a if it's a living end, which is likely, uh, I still you know got some card advantage. That's okay, the fact that they didn't have a land made so that playing Ren was the better play. But I think it would have been too weak to a land drop. Okay, all good now. We're probably losing this game since my only out is, uh, I guess, not, not that uh, thin draw, uh, thin outs. I can just uh, break this draw because they set my top. Then I play Ren, make a, make a, uh, make a fetch land. Pfft. Fetch the um, the top away and then draw creativity. So that's the plan right now. Currently, my list only plays three dwarven mine. I haven't talked about this, but I guess um, there's obviously scenarios where this comes back to bite you, where you don't have the third uh, dwarven mine. It is possible that uh, it is something, but at the same time, it's also just it's not amazing to draw two dwarven mine in your opening end. In my in my case, playing the creativity was bad against uh, exactly two cascade spell and no land drop. I mean, it's magic. Every uh, every scenario you play has a fail rate, and it's just up to you to play around the, the right one. And sometimes the right it doesn't exist the right one. Again, uh, it's likely that uh, the top card was bad again. Obviously, it, it could have possibly uh, there was two creativity on top, but the architects of will was. Okay, I think I'm officially dead now. All right, good game. But that's okay. Game one is definitely bad. Post cyborg though, our matchups improve a lot. Let me see the cyber guide. 
uh, we have eight bad cards, which are Lightning Bolt and Leyline Binding. And uh, there's a lot of good cards here. There's Flossa Storm, there's Turn the Earth, Veil of Summer, and uh, I can also bring in an Iona. Iona naming uh, green, probably, and then they can cast any of the Cascade spells. Uh, hello, Ravi. Uh, the reason for Strike It Rich is to play around Blood Moon, and that's why it's on the sideboard. It comes in against the um, Blood Moon decks, something like um, Team of Rhinos, Merc Tide, of course, Mono Red. But I played um, I played a video against Canister where we played Living End. Sorry, he played Living End. Man, Ubisa Canister. I titled it Hypergenesis as a safe unbanned in modern. And and then I played it with Splinter Twin. And he also had his point of view when playing Hypergenesis. And then he played Glimpse of Nature. Yeah, we had a bunch of these videos where we just unbanned the card. After all, we decided that it was not good content because we would just be playing a medium list against the top tier decks and that uh, was not good for anybody involved. All right, what is the best? Uh, see, uh, I think it's Jetmere Garden plus Steam Vents, yeah. Just because like playing a tier one deck against a deck that you just randomly build in like 30 minutes is not a good idea, even if you want ban a guard. So you just mostly just give fail, uh, fail false uh, testing uh, experiences. Could you link the cyber guide you mentioned? Yeah. Put it in the show notes of the YouTube video. Hello, Birds of Lock Trap. You saw me in Naples? Nice. How did you do? Hello, Malampi. Unfortunately, CFB Pro is only accessible by Americans. I don't know why. I'm sorry for it. I have nothing to. I have nothing to do to fix this, except uh, making one article per month free. Actually, I was thinking of making, um, I was thinking of making the, ooh, they grieved my uh, spell pierce away. Nice. Uh, 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 Florent. Nice. One ear. And Fluby. Thank you for the 10 months. Welcome, welcome. Is one attract sound not good? Exactly. It's not good. Thank you, Florent. Um, my opponent graveyard is actually quite stuck. Uh, I'm I'm a little bit afraid of. Um... Oh, they decided not to play around. Makes sense. It makes sense. They decided not to play around anything here. I have double creativity though, so I'll be able to get one. Uh, one thing in play. Should let me not have six here because I'm casting this prismari, unless I discard it. When your time flies, exactly. Yes, the next format will be a standard again. The next Pro Tour will be standard uh, in May. And then we have original championship in uh, um, June. That's Pioneer. Those are the uh, two formats. Okay, so they discarded um, where is Mario Command. I could have not fetched, but I don't think that brings me um, much further. Uh, sure, let's take a Trium. No need to take a white uh, black Trium because I don't have Leyland Binding anymore in my deck. Um, I might just ping you, honestly. I don't think I care about um, Ren loyalty anymore. I thought they don't have... Um... Oh, wow. I flipped Iona. That's sweet, actually. Are we naming green? I think so. I think it's the right choice. <laughs> Do I ping you? Uh, 
No, actually, I might just go to the red emblem now. I have a 7-7 seven, seven blocker. Wow, look at this Iona here. I hope to not get bounced, but I don't think they left in Brazen Bar. You think this deck is easy to play? No deck is easy to play, Modern. Modern is a difficult format and requires a lot of knowledge. Uh, but at the end of the day, this is a uh, one-card combo deck, so it's not the hardest. Otawara, right, right, but you know, there's no out to Otawara. You can't name uh, uh, a color and they can't Otawara you. The opponent is just cycling, might be looking for that Otawara. They shuck and tapped. Oh, maybe they want to cast for some negation. I see. Who do you attack? Me. Sure thing. Yeah, Colorless is not a caller. Also, Otawara is discarded. Ooh, Veil of Summer. That's actually very nice. I can cast um, an Arca now and back it up with Veil. By cast, I mean, of course, cast creativity. And also, Vren goes to Emblem. I got an Archon in the in the play, and again, they can't, they can't do much now. I'll probably just, just pass here. Oh, they cry. Sure. Uh, maybe attack. Yeah, I don't really see how can I lose, so I guess I can attack. Yeah, so opponent did their thing, but my thing is more powerful than their thing in this game. In the previous game, their thing was more powerful than my thing. So in modern, it's just about you, it's just a showdown, and then whoever has the highest impactful combo wins in this matchup. Mm, yeah, no cyber cards for this matchup. This sideboarding is the easiest possible. Leaving Gather really makes it easy to sideboard. Oh, look at this hand. <laughs> it's hard to think about a worse hand to open. Okay, keep this one. Uh, it's about on Fable. Fable is not that good in this matchup. You keep it because you really have like bad cards. But Have I tried the Prismatic Ending lists? No, I haven't, but I, I would say I worked on this list a lot. So I'm, I'm happy to, I'm happy with this list in particular. I've been championing this list for months now, and uh, it's always getting better and better. I decided who will I playtest for the Pro Tour. And yeah, that's a cool question, because just yesterday I've been talking a lot uh, about that thing and talking to people. It is definitely something that I look forward a lot to. It's just, I, I don't play a competitive uh, draft for a long time. Sorry, I haven't played competitive draft for a long time, as in I never really had a reason to play limited. Uh, so I just ignored limited formats for a long time. Before that, uh, just pr practicing a draft for the Pro Tour is just one of the, just one of the, just honestly, best feeling in my life. <laughs> just, for example, I remember like the Team Series final, uh, that was... Uh, January 12, 2019, just staying in a house for one week, only drafting, um, draft, only drafting a new set that, you know, nobody has seen it yet, uh, was honestly one of my best memories of uh, competitive magic. But outside of that, I don't know, I don't, I don't feel the the need, I guess, to play to play draft because content-wise, uh, draft is not uh, draft is not that good content-wise. Okay, here I'm I'm just passing the turn. The reason being, I want to have double flusters storm up in case they go end of turn cascade and tap cascade. Next turn, I can go Ren, pick up a land, so I can do the two counters. And my deck has two steam vents, so I have plenty of uh, uh, room for that. 
Why do you prefer to turn the earth to one with moonlight? Uh, well, one cost one mana, the other cost two. And also because uh, you can side in turn the earth against burn, which is a bad matchup. Thank you, Otranko. I didn't qualify for Worlds. I lost the semifinals. If I had won the semifinals against Toffo, I would have qualified for Worlds. But I can't complain. Our opponent here plays around uh, Spell Pierce, is my guess, but we have Flasso Storm. So. Flasso Storm is uh, it's just one of the best. Uh, it, it's the best card against the Cascade. For example, if I had Mental Misstep now, sorry, Minor Misstep now, it, uh, it would have failed because my opponent very likely has a Mystical Dispute. So uh, the reason why Minor Misstep was a trap in Modern, it's exactly this one. It can't be countered. Uh, sorry, Flash Storm is just a Dobin's Veto, basically. Uh, yeah, play against Toffel in the, in the semifinals. I beat him in the Swiss. I lost to him in the semifinals. Actually, my winning in was against Torov. And then he uh, won the next two rounds to top eight regardless. You would watch my content much more if you include more limited. It's it's okay, but it's just you. Overall, my uh, whenever I in the past stream draft or main draft video, they just yeah, it's it's not even uh, comparable to the to the constructed videos. Green, red. I'll play brand because making the land drop it's making land drop it's just it's just the life. <laughs> you just need to make land drops if you want to win with this deck, and that's why we play four brand and six. This is why this deck is a great brand and six decks deck because you need to have mana things in order to be a brand deck. Good morning, Kazoro. Also, I feel like Limited gets a little bit boring after like the first two weeks that you play it. It doesn't have that much renovation on like constructed formats. But that's why like every three months you get a new set. So I, I enjoy, you know, drafting for a Pro Tour, but after a Pro Tour in the past, I usually just never uh, really drafted. But, you know, you love the... It's like, again, I'm not a, a, a game uh, on PlayStation type of person, but it's like a game. You play it, you and uh, you, you arrive to the end of the of the game and then uh anyway do i want to fetch another top land sure why not if the opponent goes for cascade spell i go flash storm x equal three so yeah well i probably should cyber guy for standard deck yes actually yeah i plan on writing the article uh, i cyber guide is here <laughs> this is my cyber guide printed and then just uh, i write with the pen every time whenever I disagreed with my own thoughts from uh, uh, previous days. And um, I'll, I'll make it open so that everybody can read it, not just Americans with CFB Pro. Okay, uh, let's go. On top, draw. Okay, that's not a good draw, but that's fine. Make another land drop, and I think... I think I just pass, because now... Uh, my opponent can play around Flash Storm by going Land Cascade Spell, but I can go Prismari Command first so that they can't. What format was the tournament I played this weekend? Standard. Hello, Demon Fire. 25 months. Thank you so much. Bye bye, Just Kai. Hello, Cat Warrior. Thank you, thank you for rooting. For me, unfortunately, I had to play against uh, the uh, the only the only other Italian in the top eight. That was unfortunate. Two uh, two friends uh, from uh, my region that lost the winning in for the top eight. It could have been uh, four Italians. You can never beat Merc that with this deck. Hmm, interesting. It's not it's not an easy matchup. It's probably one of your hardest, but you definitely have tools. Okay. Uh I'm just playing Prismario regardless. The reason being that um The reason being that 
it counts as a spell even if the opponent plays or something in response. Maybe shouldn't have Thorb and Mine first. Yeah, I regret that. If they have exactly two. Uh, anyway, let's go draw two, make a treasure. I'll ignore this shardless for now. Oh, wow, mystical dispute. Okay, then. Yes, Torah got katana's leaves. Uh, we, we we made a picture about it. It's that's it's it's a surprise. He beat me. Every time you beat Mangu in one of those uh, uh, legacy European tour events, you get ultimate guard katana sleeves. It's it's gonna last until I'm sponsored by Ultimate Guard. It's my deal with them, and I plan to play a lot of side events too. So you know, buongiorno, pivo. Somebody, somebody in the in the Twitter comments was like, "Ooh, is that Buongiorno Pivo?" When I was taking picture with Pivo this weekend, it is indeed. Uh, okay, uh, well, my opponent might kill Vren, which is something I don't really want to happen. Maybe just Prismari comment this shardless next turn. <laughs> Who's that? Sherlock. Buenos dia. I hang around with uh, a lot of Spanish people this weekend, so I improved my Spanish skills a lot. I would say that now I'm able to just hang around a bunch of Spanish people and understand what they're saying. Maybe. Maybe not. I wouldn't mind drawing a third of the Earth. Actually, you know what? I don't care. I wouldn't mind drawing the card that gives me into my deck. Alright, so I want to kill this Shardless. Uh, so that will be deal two damage, and uh, I want to make a treasure. I don't want to. I don't want to loot. My hand is good. I think. No, no, my hand is not good. Let's loot. No treasures. Dos daño. Draw this card. Hablas más idioma? No, that's all the languages I speak: Italian and English. And yeah, I mean, I think I understand Spanish. I don't speak it that well. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, this card Archon. One maybe I cast. The other one I, yeah, I don't mind. Uh... I think I just get Warp and Mine and beat down. One is on ten. That's can I play Fable? I just attack. You you don't need to combo with this deck. That's one of the good thing with this deck. It's B plan is actually relevant. Like Fable is a great card. Ooh, hoo -hoo, that's nice. Persistu. Let's go. Wow, fun and conceit. You don't want to see me casting the persist? Brandon Six here in this game. Yeah, I didn't even have lands. Nah, man, Brandon Six is busted for sure. Hey, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so my friend Kalk, he was. Uh, uh, he was, um, he stayed at my house for three days, uh, my friend Krisha Kakano, he's American, of course, but uh, he's, uh, his family is uh, from the uh, Dominican Republic, so he uh, speaks Spanish. Um, and uh, so he was trying to speak with my family in, uh, in English, and of course my family, not of course, but just... You know, 60 years old Italian people don't speak English usually uh, on average. So it was there was not much uh, discussion between them. So I was calc, just speak Spanish. They will understand because they were speaking Italian and he kind of understood. So that's how the discussion happened. They calc speak Spanish, they were speaking Italian, and they understood each other a little bit. <laughs> But English is so much different than Italian that, you know, if each buddy, each one just speaks that language, is no one. Okay. Hey. This is the life of Brandon Six deck. You just have to mulligan hands that are literally perfect if only you draw one land, but you just can't keep these hands. Especially since your hand will most likely going to be perfect regardless on a six card's end. Yeah. 
They understood you if you talked more Catalan than Spanish. Yeah, right? But honestly, if you go to the south of Italy especially, they are, their language, their dialect comes from Spanish. Am I right? Like Naples and, and other parts were part of the Spanish uh, Empire. Or kingdom, sorry. I guess. Yeah, I think, I mean, the, the, the uh, Aragonese. So that's uh, Spanish. All right, thoughts is sure thing. Eh. Uh, well, I can tech. Oh, persist. They can technically play a turn one Ragavan Dash, so let's just play Buddha's Foothills. You speak English, Spanish, Francais, no, no Italian. Well, yeah, you can definitely understand. That's the thing with like speaking. Most of the time, you just need to understand. You don't necessarily need to like make up an essay. That's something that I really appreciate uh, after traveling uh, many, many times in America is that language, it's only a tool uh, to understand each other. You don't have to know everything of it. You just need to understand each other. School makes you think that if you don't speak properly, you're like wrong and you should fix it. But that's not true. The only tool for the language is to understand each other, or at least that's what I believe in. Press of progress in modern? Yeah, no, nah, that's not gonna happen. It's not fun. I don't understand why people want it. Like, magic is fun when you can play all the colors. It's good that cards like Blood Moon exist to keep in check, but not too many. Hello, Sekli. It's a lot of fun meeting a lot of you this this weekend for sure. I yeah, met a lot of people that told me, oh, I look your, I watch your stream and etc. That's cool. So much to do here. I'll just sit around. Plenty doesn't have land drop. And remember the rule, if they don't do anything, you don't do anything. Because if they don't have land drop, it means they probably have a lot of reactive cards. And they don't play spells, it probably means they have a lot of reactive cards in end. And you don't want to make them cast their reactive cards that they have in end. So you just uh, get your dwarves and start attacking. An important rule of Mango Stream is if they don't move, you don't move. If they don't move, you don't move. So we don't cast Prismar Command into, I don't know, Spell Pierce or Dwarven in the Lock. I know what my opponent plays. I signed a lot of cards, yes. The most expensive card I signed were three foil Merclair Regent. Which, you know, I'm not a big fan of signing expensive cards because obviously my signature will damage the card. But uh, if you never sell it, that's okay. So first I make sure that the person I'm signing with uh, is a buy high never sell type of person and once i've um, established that i sign oh she holds edict <laughs> Imagine trading a card for <laughs> nothing for a Dwarven Man activation. This might be another matchups where uh, having only three Dwarven Man. Second. I'll probably hold the third uh, Dwarven Man. Sure. Uh, that's not true, actually. Go ahead.
up when trading uh, cards for remove for removal spells. You wonder if I cast Prism Archman now? No. I have spell pierce in my deck. I don't want to go under a counter spell. I have three spell pierce in my deck, and they're very alive. Okay, now I can set up a trap. Lane Prism Archman, DOT, uh, getting um, countered, and then on top of Fable. I can see that. Okay, the dwarves uh, connected finally. One thing I'm still on the fence about with this mana base is the steam vents. Oh, actually, I think I'm casting it now. I'll deal 2 damage to the borrower and... Um, make a treasure or loot? I think I'll loot. My hand is pretty poop. Pretty poop. Terra. I'm just discard two lands, honestly. This black plays 1 million lands and 4 brand and 6. It's like 29 lands in this deck. 25 plus 4 brand, so. Do you run back the same 75 again? Yes. Cyber Guide? Yes. Yes, it's, it's, it's gonna be free. Not CFB Pro. They moved, we moved. Exactly. Yeah, I can't even fetch for other dwarves. <gasps> Tazigre! That's not a card you often see! Are they new forming into a Traxa? That play for his Mar end of turn. No, my hand is. No. Yeah, I'll play it. Nah, that's not true. I can bolt it and Prism Mari. Ooh, well, Hill and Binding, that's not bad. Or, so was I closing playing any other decks at the RC? No, never. Only tested Grixis. I want to play this now. If it gets countered, sure. I want to kill this Tazigre. Two damage, make a treasure bolt it. No, no, go ahead. That's just card disadvantage, and Mango is known for that. I don't do card disadvantage. If you want to spend to remove a spell on a creature, not on twitch.tv slash Mangucci. Maybe some other places you can see it. Yeah, name switch. That's what happens when a format is um, unexplored. A lot of people uh, have their opinion of what's right or wrong. So I'm totally discarding Persist, and I think also Bold. These two cards are bad. Speaking of bad cards, not uh, creativity. All right, let's play Teferino. Kind of crazy, it's turn up when it's three lands, but yeah. Teferino, bonjour, como vas? Yes, you saw some creativity playing Sliss playing Fury in the sideboard. That's a bold choice. I would not do that. You're going to a big tournament in Texas this weekend. Nice. Love big tournament. And also, honestly, love Texas. I've been there. Nice. Like, the food is great. The people are great. The weather, not so much. But I understand living... Um, but I'm fine. I did my things. You can go. Yeah, I wouldn't have spent removal spell on two lands, but uh, I mean, it would have been dead if they didn't, so. You have to. As the hype for MTGA died out, I don't know, I haven't opened Magic Arena in one year, and I don't plan to do so in the future. But if you like it, you're free to play it. I mean, it's right there. They held tournament, they have Arena opens, they qualify for some other tournaments. That I really don't know much about, but it's there. Why? Um, I enjoy playing uh, 
or real magic more and uh, these formats more. Teferino, what about now? What do you do, opponent? I have another Teferino here. Oh, you counter it. Hmm. I see. Hey, Allora, you know what happens here? I am going to play Creativity for two. If you have a spell pierce, eh. If you don't have a spell pierce, an Archon appears. <laughs> On the... What makes Arena not real magic? <laughs> I, I think if, to me it's the collection. To me it's the fact that you can't buy and sell cards. To me magic, funniest thing, it's buying and selling magic cards. I guess only buying from me. But back in the days I used to sell, of course. Back in the days when I was a poor student living off uh, four row at F&M. Selling cards is a very important thing of my uh, student's fund. Allora, we're playing against, um, what's it called? Uh, Blue-black uh, cards. Usually, blue-black cards deck uh, will be, uh, will, uh, you love to bring in Veil of Summer. A Lightning Bolts? Uh, I guess they showed me Fire and Ice. Sorry, they showed me uh, the 1-3, the bird. Uh, ma. I don't know what to remove, honestly. My deck seem all uh, pretty good against that. I guess I can do only this. No. Uh, why only three mines? I just, I just dislike to draw two mines. This end is bad, but we're playing against the Thoughtsys deck. Against Thoughtsys deck, you simply don't mulligan. The concept of trading with friends and other players. Yeah, or borrowing cards. Borrowing cards is, is great. I mean, it's what kept us all playing at some point of our life. And on Arena, you can do that. You're priced out of decks. It's just the worst for me, yeah. Again, it's honestly my opinion, but... Thankfully, our world is free. Wow, you surgical my creativity. That's a typical blue-black cards play that you would expect from a blue-black cards deck. I'll hold this fetch land because I have plenty of the other lands. And if I draw a uh, Ren and Six, sure, I'll take three damage. Remember, chat, if you play Surgical Extraction, you lose the game. It's like Necromancia. Nobody has ever won a game after casting Surgical Extraction in a fair way. I don't care about tapping your land. I'll just play top lands and don't move. Remember, they don't move, you don't move. Can you explain why the Surgical play? Because it's card disadvantage. If you do card disadvantage, it's more likely that you lose the game. You win a game once, I don't believe you. One time, I, a few days ago, I saw a person screenshotting that they surgical attraction a flooded strand and the opponent had two flooded strand in the end. And this is honestly like a one out of a thousand of scenarios when it's correct to flood a strand, a flood a strand, to um, thought sees a flooded strand. Teferino, Paperino. Buenos dias, Ricardo. You can use Surgical with Uro. Sure, there is exception. Come on, we're not going to mention all the exception of our world. 
Mm-hmm. Have you seen the Red Green Initiative deck yet? In Legacy? Yes, I've seen it. Uh, not so sure it's better than uh, Mono Red Moon. But I've seen it, yes. In paper, you can also play Moloch, which is a, a card that still doesn't exist in Magic Online. It's kind of unbelievable, to be honest, that uh, Magic Online had a, sorry, Magic had a ban list in Legacy, and the. Uh, all right, we're not going to talk about it, but basically, Legacy is just net deckers from Magic Online events, and Magic Online doesn't have every card. So it is unbelievable to me that they had a ban list in a format where not every card was acceptable, uh, accessible. It's like saying, you play Modern, but you don't have, uh, I don't know, Leyline Binding. Play for three, play for six months, and then we ban a card, and then you put Leyline Binding in the format, which was already there. You understand? I hope you do. If you don't, it's fine. We're not ready. It's like, it doesn't really matter. It is uh, Wizards of the Coast making Wizards of the Coast play, which is the classic, like, throwing darts. But nonetheless... Here we are playing this wonderful game that is Magic the Gathering. Lind e favola. Cool. Next turn, I can draw this card and then bounce my fable. It's a very typical play. Five lands versus two. Yeah, that's what happens when you keep one landers on the play. It is definitely more likely to happen to you if you keep one landers on the play. Why well, Moloch is good? What's the play pattern there? It's a removal spell. It's a removal spell. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll swap use this. How many times have you cast Fable within next week? Let's make another question. How many times you have cast Fable and you won a game? Like what's the correlation between casting Fable and winning the game? I can tell you one stats. I'm not gonna tweet it because I think it looks bad, but uh, me and Kyle played for three days and one of the two players always played Grixis. So we either played mirror matches or we, or we tested Grixis against another deck. And we had the stats. Every time, I swear, every time a player casted um, every time a player casted a, a Fable on turn 3, the game ended in that player's favor. Like, it doesn't happen if the game ended out six turns after or whatever, but that player won the game. We had 100% uh, win rate for casting Fable on turn 3. Even if the card got negated. That's that's the stats that we, that we drew out, of course. It's low sample size, blah, 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 blah. I don't think there's many other formats where you have a card that's so successful. Although, to be honest, we didn't play against the Esper Legends, the list from uh, the Germans, which maybe broke the format with their list. They had a super successful weekend overall and beat a lot of Grixis. Grixis still won the tournament, but um, the, the, the Esper Legends from Toro, Farne, uh, Shir Khan, and uh, Lucas um, Honey. Uh, was by far the most successful deck of the tournament. So the format will evolve, but for that past weekend, uh, I think it was by far the best choice. What if both player cast on turn three? It, the player on the play, uh, I said, on the play. Turn Fable. Flavoren. Return land. Play land. Ametapa meio. Play fable. Go. Which event was this? The original championship in Naples standard format. Babine. We honestly could have fast forward this game uh, six turns ago when they surgical extraction on turn one. But here I am to teach you 
to not cyber surgical extraction or just not putting in your deck ever ever zero chance that you do that okay you can do that in legacy that's fine but we don't play legacy right now take a bathroom break and i'll be back in when do you set in strike it rich it's it's for it's for the blood moon matchups round number three vamonos hey this is why i'm a dwarven mine hater instead of dwarven mine i put a fetch land if this had if this hand had a fetch land and i Still, maybe it wouldn't be a model again. But so this is certainly a model. And unfortunately, we have to go to five. There's, just, there's no way you can keep one landers uh, this bad. It's fine to keep one landers if the land is uh, uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. If the spells had ran in six. I, I don't exactly know <laughs> where my <laughs> words came out, but it's okay. Uh... Ooh, is that a Ragaban? A channeler. Hmm. Nadja. Okay, second Brandon Six is very good, because now I can go ramping. Um, and then they will bolt the Bren and I'll still play another I still have another Bren here. We'll put on a mutagenic growth. Okay, it's not prowess. I'm honestly, recently, as I play Magic, I'm more scared of Prowess than Merc died. Prowess is so good, honestly. I think it's the most underrated deck in Modern, by far. Yeah, that's perfect. Wow, but I kept a Wallander. They didn't have enough chant. They didn't have enough bubble. They just kept a Wallander. I guess. I guess we'll get away with uh I guess we'll get away with another man who plays against an opponent who keeps one landers. Let's play Fable. Go. I think you roll. You think Domain Zoo is underrated? I don't know. I don't know about that. I think Domain Zoo um has a harder time right now. I think it was great when there was a lot of breach. But now there's just way less breach than before. Zweta, one of the best deck against breach. Or it's fast clock, cheap counters. Anyway, here for sure I'm gonna remove a, a, a mother's card of land. Because yeah, Grand, which is a land producer. Opponent drew a second land, so you know, obviously the game can spiral into a loss, but hopefully it doesn't happen. Ooh, they leave up two mana. Interesting. Oh. I'm just I'm just keeping what I have. One of the things that you get you learn about playing uh, with Fable is that uh, you just don't move sometimes. Sometimes it is correct to not discard anything. Yeah, now we just don't play anything, so opponent's two mana up. Very important to play around your opponent hand. They pass with two mana, you don't play into counter spell, that's very obvious. Next time we flip the fable, and we'll see what happens. Our opponent drew back to back land. And do I want to get a dwarfs? Uh, I think so, yes. Stack. I got a 2 2 here. If they play removal spells, that's fine. We're trading removal spell for uh, the rest down and through we're playing. They just cycled. They have this counter spell up. And they cycled. That's not a weird play. Now they can go bold, exactly, and still hold up counter as well. But again, as I've said you earlier, you just play land and pass. Just don't move. If the opponent doesn't move, you don't move, remember. Good. Wish I had a spell pierce now, but it's okay. 
your Merc Tide, they can't play your dash. Adam, that's not how Merc Tide operates. You don't play Merc Tide on two lands. <laughs> or Ragavan dash against the dwarf. Dagi Adam. Forza, forza. I think he's get another dwarf or not. No, maybe not. Yeah, I don't want to corrupt the treasure to play these two cards. Let's play Teferino Bounds. Let's play Vrenin Six. Get Fetch Land, play Fetch Land. Tap for three. You improved on Hammer after playing Control. Nice, yeah. Bolt my Teferino. Adios. Adios, Teferino. And you go back to your hold up counter spell plan. Opponent, that's not gonna work. Just play your things. Don't play that way. Pass, pass, pass. As Brutal Merc, they had any chance versus creativity. <laughs> well, if you cast your cards, yes. <laughs> if you Sphere of Resistance for two yourself, no. Or if you keep Wallander also, maybe no. I wouldn't mind drawing a creativity. I'll play Teferino again. Surveil. Sweat fears. I didn't do this last turn because the Teferi would have died simply to an Oli Heat. I always want my Teferi to have an answer to Battlefield effect. Similar thing to a creature. So we play Teferi now because I can bounce and draw a card. I already used two bolts so I don't die to a triple bolt so I can go to nine. is on five, I have Prince Mari command, just attacking down with works. We have a saying in Italian, I don't know if that's also a thing in English, that you die with a lot of cards in hand. It's like dying full. Like they they died this game full of cards. Because they decided to never develop, never deploy, always play reactive, which is a losing way of playing. Morire gonfio, I would say. It's obviously not clear that they're dead, but like, you know, now they are deploying because they're dead otherwise, but they could have deployed earlier and they, you know, they just, they just died to dwarf beat down close Prince Mari. My draws were so bad this game and I was able to win because my opponent Passed with counter spells up instead. I'm I'm not only here to sit and complain about my opponent's play. I try to give you viewer an idea about uh, how to play, how to well play, how to well play this game. So like as you can see, you know you you saw my cards and and they were bad, but we got to win regardless.
I, even if I draw two lands now, I would have just attacked it all and win. Okay, sideboard. Uh, sideboard, we're bringing in the Striker Rich, and we're bringing in the Veil of Summer. Uh, let me see what I say in the article. I say to cut two Fire Ice, one Brennan Six, one Archon, one Persist. It is not easy for me to tell you, look, you have to side out Brennan Six. It is not easy to say that, but I like every other card. I think this is the cyber point. No, I don't like Fluster. You already have spell peers. Which can also counter blood moon. And you're already bringing in Veil. I don't want to have too many reactive cards. You already have like four binding, four bolts. Like your deck is just mono reactive cards. Strike your riches for blood moon. Because otherwise, you have to play around Blood Moon so much that it's just impossible to move. Like, you can never jam. As soon as they have 5 mana, they can, you can you just can't dodge it. And just holding up mana, sighted in Nature's Claim, Boseju, it's to me, it's a losing play. When you were a young MTG player, you would have blamed the Gamer Varians. Yeah. Yeah, the more you learn how to play the game, the more you understand that variance just, just doesn't matter. Sometimes, sure, but... I was telling people how I had one of my games where I it was impossible to lose. I, I reach a point where I have... Uh, wrath my opponent, soldier board, shield ready in play, and had four lands in end. My opponent drew a removal spell for Shieldred, and I proceeded to draw a streak of just an amount of lands that was like overall, I think over about 20 lands I drew with that game. And that's fine. The next game I drew regularly and won. Played a good game of magic and won. So, you know, if instead I would my 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 mindset would have just been completely crushed by that game that was quote unquote impossible to lose maybe I would have I would have I wouldn't have played that well the next game and I would have lost the match and the round Mizia thank you nice to see you this this weekend I hope you had a nice a nice weekend is it better than abundant growth the striker rich eh, I don't know but impossible to say I would say yes how do you play against creativity with Merc died it's the same way you play against Merc that with everybody. You just, just play your cards. and At some point, you hold up counter, but not the whole game, especially if you have mana problems. Okay, the way to sequence lands here is Jetmir Triumph. Sorry, Jetmir Garden, uh, Xander Lounge, Leland Binding. And uh, so this way, I can't play around the Blood Moon, but I have Strike Rich. So if I put in place Blood Moon now, for example, I might win. Obviously not, because they have Turn 1 Ragavan unchecked. What did my girlfriend think about my PT instead of vacation? <laughs> That's okay. She's very supportive. She was happy for me. She even uh, shared my uh, inst uh, on Instagram my my story, which is <laughs> something I I find particularly nice. Why not fetch before damage? Because if they flip my uh, Naya um uh, Naya land, which actually they did, funnily enough. I'm happier that they flip like a Fable or a Ren or stuff like that. To go, uh, where will we go to the Pro Tour? Yeah, so she's also very busy, so that was honestly one of the few weekends that both of us had free. Um, but I think we plan to go to Ferrara one night instead. And I don't know about you, is it possible to change the name of a flight of Ryanair? Because I, I have a Ryanair ticket. Is it possible to like name the Ryanair ticket to another person? 
Is this something they do? I'll play binding now. Yeah, yeah, I know, but at the end of the day, it's also good to just go Xander only into Secret Foundry. It's less ideal because I took two damage, but I prefer that they flip Xander, uh, Naya Garden to a Fable or... Yes, with fees. How much? How much? You know that? My father asked me. No, we have another Ragavan. My father asked me. Because, you know, I have two tickets unused, and he said uh, <laughs> he wants to use them then. This is just the simple, uh, this is just the simple um, mark type game where you just, you just can't beat it. Because they go turn one dragon on the blade, you don't ever remove a spell. And now you just, Gogo says no. I would say I didn't pay the ticket very little. I paid it, like, you know how Ryanair is usually cheap? That was not the case. Because it was like, you know, that was not the case. Passenger names can be changed up to two hours before the flight is scheduled to depart. Really? Huh. You have a link for Eric? Mm -hmm. It's 14 pounds per passenger. For free, you can transfer. Okay. And my father then. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I need a green land. The one and only green land. Let's just go top land here. Yeah, why not? I'm a nine. Yeah. I don't feel like going uh, land uh, creativity. Maybe I should have. It was great to see me the other day. Nice. In paper. I'm actually not a paper person. I'm a real person made of flesh and blood. So I don't know why you say you. <laughs> I did play paper magic though. Uh, let's go on. We have to make a treasure and, uh, well, I guess a loot. Zakate, Zakate. Flash about is the other game. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I know that. E che facciamo? Che facciamo? I think I'll uh, just like creativity on the treasure. It'll never work. Those like creativity on the shredder. Nah, that might be something for you guys. It's just, it's just never gonna work. So, whatever. I'm just clicking buttons. You're gonna watch a movie in paper? Nice. Yeah, so you basically use the word in paper whenever you have to say in real life. In paper. When I go to a restaurant in paper, fluster stongs. Sorry, break horn, uh, if you if we spar all the same jokes on your message, but it, it's, 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 it was funny. It was a funny message. 
Magic Online and not Arena? It's the opposite. Magic Arena and not online? What are you doing? What are you doing if you're doing that? Okay, land go. If you cast creativity on the dwarf and the token and you bolts your token, does the creativity... No, yeah, it resolves. As long as your spell is one target, the spell will resolve. If your opponent has a... No... No, break room. We're not making. Uh, you're not roasting you. You just uh, spiral some good jokes. We're, you're just spiraling some good jokes. Steam vent. I'm basically dead, so I'm just. Just play my last plays. Just making my last plays before giving up. There's Mario. Destroy target artifact. And make a treasure. Okay. I'll make a treasure. Destroy target artifact. But put in hand is like two lands to burn spell. Actually, it has to be two lands on all that. I, I don't know actually what this can be. I really can't see a way out, but here we are. Can I creativity melee line? No, I cannot. Creativity says uh, only creature or artifact. I'm a three opponent. What's the worst that can happen? Thank you, Bali. Bobby, ne? This game was like the surgical extraction game. Opponent played Ragavan and untapped it. It's over. We could have just fast forward six six turns, and I would have lost regardless. On the play, I want four Brennan six. Honestly, I just want every card on the play. All right, I'll take out one. Ah, it's so hard to cipher on the play. Pog and Potion. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, on Potion. Welcome, welcome. All right, don't look at me. I just boarded out Lightning Bolt. Cut one strike. Nah, poor strike. Poor strike, man, this hand. This hand. All right. <laughs> We're gonna use Strike Your Rage as a protection for Brennan Six in this game. Let's see if it'll work. Va bene. Vamonos. Dai, eh? Dame. Pass the turn opponent. Lend, Ren, and Tix. Does anyone play Hard Evidence anymore? Uh, I'm not responsible for uh, everyone deck choices, but I haven't seen Hard Evidence in a long time. Ren and Tix. I think I have to return a land here. I can't risk uh, my Ren. I can't risk. I have a mountain and a stomping ground and a Teferi and I need Brennan 6 to fix my mana. If they go exactly, I don't know what, but yeah. It's 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 difficult. It's difficult. Yeah, I think the level up of this game happened of this deck happened. Uh, this deck had two big level up moments. First, when uh, the one and only yellow hat added Fable to this deck last summer. And then when uh, um, I think it was a real, why real, uh, cut uh, art evidence from the deck. Those were the very, very big level up moment for the deck. You're minutes, a you're mun minutes away from going on your honeymoon. Where are you going?
New York City, nice, it's beautiful, enjoy. Actually, my, oh, look, I have a hoodie of New York City. My girlfriend, so we stayed one week in New York last uh, December. My girlfriend this year wants to go back in December. But she said one week was not enough. No, are you getting delirium? Well, you aren't, thankfully. What do you think of Italian food in New York City? Well, why would I ever eat Italian food in New York City? I don't understand. No, don't get delirium. Bravo. I have Italian food at home. If I go abroad, I eat things that are from abroad. I'm not like a 60 year old person that needs to eat the same food they eat at home everywhere in the world. Good card. What is a good card here? Hmm. I can't creativity. Um, but I know what to do. I can't really play the fairy. Maybe I should. I just. Because, oh, come on, No, va bene, dai. I mean, I'm, I'm in a good shape. I'll ping the channeler, play the fairy, bounce shredder. Dai. I'll ping the channeler. I, I got very lucky that opponent didn't get delirium. I will strike your raging kid, that bloodman. He draw very unfortunate lands, like drawing this mountain was bad, but what can you do? Uh, allora facciamo te ferry. Like every time your hand isn't to fetch lands, your mana base will suck. That's the lesson that I learned playing the main zoo. Spectre Ridge took place of our evidence? No. It, it's a cyber card for blood, man. You don't play card disadvantage cards in your main deck. Our evidence also, so it's... Not card as a damage card. Anyway, let's bounce this thing and pass to you. You were about to ask a question about Pioneer. Why? You have some Pioneer RCQ? I haven't played Pioneer since uh, the RC in Sofia, but I will have to play it again because the next RC in uh, Athens in June will be Pioneer. It's turn three, but so much happened in this game. Very nice to meet me, Arceus. Oh yeah, congrats on your result. Did you qualify for the Pro Tour? What formats will the Pro Tour uh, standard again? It's standard again. You did? Very nice, congrats. The Neo from deck. <clears throat> I don't really have thoughts about that. But yeah, it's cool to see uh, Atraxa winning. It's a fun card for sure. Why did you top my mana not keeping up spell peers? Because unfortunately we are not playing in paper and uh, uh, on Magic Online you have to follow the rules of mana. But in paper you could have topped in a way where I could have left spell peers up. For sure. Was Javier also in Naples? Yes, yes, we tested together. What would you play in Pioneer? Any ideas? Uh, so last time I played Pioneer, I had so much fun with the Incarnation deck. As far as I understood, the Incarnation deck is not good anymore, and uh, you have to play instead the version with uh, uh, Brain to Light and Omnath, which sounds fun, to be honest. So that would be a deck I would play, the one that um, Lucas Honey built for the PT... Uh, where was it? The, 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 the PT that happened, the Reduk one, that one. You're going to brag, you need a deck that isn't marked. I, this is a great deck. Like, just, just net deck this 75, play a few leagues, show up in Prague, draw well, you'll win the event. It's always America? Yeah. 
I mean, I'm gonna assume it's cheaper to make a tournament in America than make it anywhere else for Wizards. Allora, they annually hit my Teferi and pass the turn. Babine. Let's return to Fetchland. I guess I'm gonna uh, introduce you to my friend uh, uh, Archon of Cruelty. You can obviously annually hit it, but I will still get my value. Which is nice. Um, this is for Bloodman. I, I, I like it. I like to play against Merktide and not be afraid of Bloodman. Like, let's say they go, I only hit Bloodman this turn. If I didn't have this tool, I actually couldn't have played this game this way. I, I couldn't just, if I didn't have this card, I couldn't have done exactly this play because of uh on top blood moon and only heat i lose the game is that my idea i would say it's not my idea because it comes from uh, kyle boggins but i've seen um uh canister playing uh, uh abundant growth long time ago and i adopted that when i really like it and then it was like wait is the this one is just better right and i think it is yes Okay, now I'm going to play around Orvar. Normally, if Orvar didn't exist, I would have just gone for two creativity this turn. But I think it's safer not to. But honestly, if Orvar wouldn't exist, this deck would probably be banned. Um, what do I do? Guess I'll just... Uh... Take it, try him. Whatever, Sacred Foundry untapped. And play Strike It Rich. Pass. Oh no, I forgot to use Bren. Alright, whatever. Hope it doesn't matter. Elephant oh, Mahama. I forgot to plus Bren, that's why I fetch main phase. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. The top eight was stacked. Yeah, the RC top eight was, was very nice. There was also another person that I didn't know in the top eight, Alfonso Souza, and he top eighted the last RC. It's crazy, right? He back to back RC top eights. I hope the coverage talked about it because I didn't know that. My friend Pivo back to back top 16, which is also very, very impressive. Our last RC I didn't make day two and uh, felt uh, very hard for sure. If I creativity for two, we would win. You could have listened to what I said instead of writing a message. Uh, okay, I'll take a bathroom break and I'll come back for the... <laughs> Right hand. Round number four. Mulligan Shimas. Good. Eep, but I don't have that many high expectation. You've never played Turn the Earth. How is it performing? It's mostly for living and then burn. You just basically never said it anymore. Only three mines, yeah. Hmm, I think I'm, j I just, I mean, it depends what I draw, but uh, okay, no, I'll play everything as I pass. Normally, you don't want to fetch a Steam Vents with this Arid Meza. If they play, yeah, I, I think I'm just not, I think I'm just not doing anything. Even if they play like a Ren and Six, I'm just letting it resolve.
This could be a mirror match. Makes sense. We're three zero. I'll stick to my words and ignore this Brandon six. I got a Jet Mirror Garden. I really like this mana base. I've I've started with the Jund plus just Sky mana, and I have also tried the Savai Triumph plus Xander Lounge, but this is the best I think. I'll do the same play. Unfortunately, doing the same play on the draw usually leads to a defeat, but it is what it is. A little walker. I doubt that a person that has a, a pizza badge uh, screams knife me if we get paired. Usually the people who stream snipe would never spend uh, $5 to support a streamer. The people who stream snipe instead, in fact, are uh, most likely against uh, doing anything for other people. Which is fine. It's a fine thing to live. It is uh, in the rights. So they go Fable Goblin. Man, it's just a mirror match. Who would have imagined that mirror match would look like this? Not me. I would have never imagined that a mirror match could look like this. I'm actually diverging from my opponent here as I go for Blood Crypt. Because I can't go for mountain. Be like, oh no, mango, now they can creativity. Yes. We are on a disadvantage position by being on the draw, so you have to take some risks. And uh, yeah, if they do the creativity, we lose. Next game, you. I assure you that uh, playing defensively against the Fable of the Mirror Breaker plus Vren is not leading to a win anyway. So let's just hope they don't have creativity and uh, we can get to play a little bit on the same game. I was saying how sometimes when I play magic, I just fall asleep because my opponent is so slow that uh, I play badly because, yeah, I just get bored. And that happens in paper as well, but mostly happens online. Like, games like this just make you drowsy and you just make mistakes because it's just so boring. <laughs> and yeah, it's unfortunately part of this game. You have, no, uh, you have no rope. And in paper, the games are even slower. Bonjour, no beatball. Congratulations on your amazing finish at the RC chat. Beatball bag games is a. Uh, uh, it, uh, Italian player who uh, top 16 the, the uh, RC. Thank you, thank you. All right, my opponent finally passed the turn. Okay, let's discard Archon of Cruelty Montagna. Untap draw the same exact the same exact the same exact cards. Oh Lord, va bene. E nada. Let's just play Taplin and pass here, right? I mean, yeah. I guess I'll play Untap Land and pass. This way I can play Bold Pierce and 
hold up my, for my opponent fears. Hello, he's bowling. The deck list on the website is faulty. Oh, maybe. Oh, it doesn't load Fire Eyes. I'm playing two Fire Eyes. It only shows 22 lands. Why? What's it missing? Is it missing Dwarven Mind? Yeah, I usually just uh, export and. Hope it's all good, but sometimes I guess it's not. By the way, this is my list. You can find the picture on Twitter, but it is uh, this one. Oh, Ben and I get turn a land. What's the hardest deck in modern I played? I mean, it usually depends on the amount of uh, experience that you get with a deck. It was supposed to bolt to the Ren, but this is just, again, it's the classic point is too slow that I make bad plays. It happens all the time. Emerald in the sideboard is mostly for mill. What I should do here, if it's Ren and Six, ping your Ren and Six, or if it's just close my eyes, play creativity. Honestly, think it's running six. Nah, that's that's not a winning play. Yeah, let's just jam. What do you think about the Atraxa Gore Animator deck? Uh, did you watch my YouTube video with it? I made a YouTube video with it a few days ago. You can watch my reaction playing it. That's usually better than just saying it's good or bad. Oh, they hit double wheel. They had double bolt. What's my life? Oh, 12. Hmm. <laughs> sure, die to double. It's okay. I'm 100% of Ion in your sideboard. 100%. Elemental matchups, it's just so good. And you'll just get to a point where... Oh, yeah, really, it's very good. And you might say, like, oh, the matchup is so good, I don't need it. But, you know, no matchup is <laughs> that good. That this is auto win if you get Ion and choose white. I'm not conceding ever to this opponent because winning on time is definitely a win condition. <laughs> when I win game two and then you have game three and my opponent might run out of time. Just recently I saw a tweet since like there's nothing to do, I guess. We are doing other stuff. By the one only Sandy Dog who um, tweeted something like, do you cascade, do you cast the cascade spell here? And uh, the the um, the scenario is my opponent uh, his opponent has seventeen seconds and he has one minute forty four and they have to fear like they're winning. So the question is basically is it scummy to make your opponent lose for time? And my answer and I think the the official answer is not. You should, uh, all I mean, in my opinion, you should um, treat 
uh, the timer in the same way you treat life totals. You enjoy playing my Grixis in standard? Nice. Timer, it's like exactly the same as life totals. When you're H0, you win the game. So your goal is uh, to win the game by making your opponent uh, either life total or timer reach zero. What do opponent has connection issues? I am not responsible for my opponent connection problems. Hidden entry fee and uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, we're playing the mirror match. Let's take a look at my sideboard plan for this matchup. It is simply two middle summer for two lion bolts. Makes sense. Uh, no flask stonks. Yeah, makes sense. There's a lot of permanence you want to counter. And uh, yeah, makes sense. Let's take by it. It is fair to abuse a bug to time your opponent out. Uh, no, abusing bug. Yeah, for example, timer was definitely an issue with this past uh, uh, standard format. Um, players that uh, were not as uh, ready to play Paper Magic would get draws. Whereas uh, I feel like, you know, me, Kalk, and Pivo, we, we tested a lot in paper and we never really came close to time. I guess I played against Mono White. I went to game three and, and my opponent killed me with like one or two minutes on the clock. I feel like three games of Mono White versus Grixis might get the full 50 minutes even against a very fast player, which my opponent was. Played against this uh, um, Canadian player that lives in England who... Uh, yeah, he he was good. He was playing fast, and he beat me at the end with mono white. I have a good end. I put him mulligans to five. They play fetch land. Um, I think I will jam uh, the ran and six regardless. Because we jam Brandon 6 regardless and you get Spell Pierce, that means that your Fable will resolve. Whereas if you start playing around uh, uh, Spell Pierce, you will spiral into a losing uh, play pattern. Yeah, Gershenson, I don't exactly... The... Yeah, the Mentor... Yeah, yeah, I, re I remember winning a match an important match, something like, I think it was a vintage showcase or something where my opponent had same, like just one million mentor trigger and they timed out. Yeah. Yeah, I, honestly, I, I stand by my idea of, um, of magic online timer and, and clock and things like that. Okay, they also have Ren and Six. I'm just playing Fable here. But again, this is my opinion. I'm not uh, the uh, judge of uh, what's right or wrong. Nice draw. I had the nuts twice. The problem is that the first game I had the nuts on the draw. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter how good you draw if you're on the draw. Go to fairy. I can cast. Uh... Okay, they don't go to fairy. Arena introduced. Yeah, that's true. Arena introduced an object limit. Hmm. Nice, very nice draw, Mango.
A. Hmm. Okay, let's make this play here. I want to tap down your Xander Lounge and then persist to the. After Xander Lounge and then I'll persist to the Archon. Oh wow, I got veiled. Shite. 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 Heh, I guess I have to pass here. Yeah, too risky to persist. Abundant Guru is better than Striker Rich if you draw it before they cast Bloodman. Yes. Heferino they play. Hmm. Heferino you played. Mannaggia, you played Teferino. Um, Teferino, la 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 la. I think I want to lay line binding your Renan 6. You can find my free uh, cyber guide here, uh, Iki14. And exile your Rensex. Twenty minutes versus ten. <laughs> kind of unbelievable. No, it's not. It's very believable. Okay, you bounced. Uh... Wow. You bounced Brent. Interesting. Okay, so I think. Let's see what they get. If they get a Steam Vans, just think it's what you're gonna get. Oh, Jenny Garden tapped. Wow. Well, the game is over then. Yes, Dar, so I'll make a guy for Graxist. This doesn't mean the game is over. They are able to. Get one Archon in play at least. You think they can double Archon back? How? If they maybe if they had a fetch land, I would have not done this. Hello, JS. Thank you, thank you. And, uh, sure, submit the same. Fortunately, this game I don't draw the nuts like the previous games. Nonetheless, it's a keep. When that was standard, and we would need to be on the play for that to be true. I think I will hold uh, this one, but I will play the first one. I'm sorry, Frank the Hard, that you lost uh, with playing scam. Against creativity, it is not a very good matchup for you. Yeah, 
Any opponent uh, has an interesting mana base, I would suggest against playing uh, these two lands. I, I, I really uh, like my mana base. The only thing that I can choose is cutting one Steam Vance for another fetch land. Eferino Paperino. Oh, do I want to play Veil of Summer? Yeah. Let's cycle. I think I have a hard time dealing with uh, Teferi this game. Also, I might just draw Spell Pierce. You like to have two untapped blue sources. Yeah, I mean, that's the reason why I put Steam Vents number two in the deck. It's just, I don't know, I don't think it comes up that often. Ooh, Ren and Ticks. Alright, I was going to play Fable. Should I play Ren and Tix instead? Fable is obviously bad against... Um, Fable is bad against uh, Teferi. They just balance the token. What do you think about Legacy Ban List? Um, no real... No strong thoughts. I think it's okay, but... I don't think it was needed, but it was okay. I'll get to Naya, try him. And then I'll play Prismari Command. Getting rid of some of these lands. Two damage and loot. And pass. I can bolt my ran, which is totally fine since I have only lands. Could have played it differently and kept up the Jetmir Garden in case I would have drawn a, a Naya uh, Leland Binding. Yeah, I should have topped differently. Should have played over mine first. I think so, yes. Okay, you bounce my token. The opponents clearly they want to draw creativity. They don't have creativity. So they have to fairy, so they draw creativity, they win. Regardless of their timer being red. First thing I do, ping the dwarf. Nice. So they can't creativity. Or right. I mean they don't have creativity. Uh they, they probably have what spell peers? Yeah. I'm just playing fable. Okay, so they play Prismari Command to kill the Goblin Shaman and make a treasure. They bounce the Dwarf. I guess they have more Teferis. Oh, 
I only have one dwarf in my left. That's important to think about. And another Teferi under spell appears. Not bad. Obviously, them having one mana up to me means they have Veil of Summer because they play this way. Or I guess also Spell Pierce could be. I'm gonna say yes to this and just loot away two lands this one and this one. Okay. I'm very tempted to just go. Fetch on Dwarven Mine, Creativity. Because this beats both uh, Spell Pierce and Veil. It doesn't beat... Um... Sorry, creativity for one, this is what I mean. Yeah, I think I'm doing that. I think beating Spell Pierce is important because the way my opponent played, I think they have Spell Pierce. I just put Archon in play. Surely they can bounce it or whatever, but obviously it's a good play. If it works. Oh, hey, they had Leyland Binding. Ah, if I had... Uh, no, it's okay. I had no... Yeah, I had no response to this play. I want fizzles. Now, I can Ren and Six Ping a Dwarf. Ren and Six Ping a Dwarf. Then I can Binding the Teferi and I can keep a Bolt or play Bolt. I definitely want to Binding the Teferi or I can Binding the Goblin Shaman and Bolt the Reflection. Maybe that is a better play actually. Yeah, I think so. I guess they can bounce their fable. Hmm. Binding the Teferi can spiral into a loss. I think I'm I'm doing this play. My opponent. Yeah. I just kill your creatures so that you can't creativity me. Of course you can have another dwarven in mind. Oh, Bilbo. Bilbo, I think I congratulated the wrong Bilbo Baggins before. I always meant to congratulate you. <laughs> it's two person with the same nickname in my chat is awkward. They can also bounce the binding. Yeah, but bouncing their binding wouldn't accomplish much. Congratulations to your top, uh, top 16. Yeah, yeah, bouncing your own binding is a common play, but I think I have to kill my opponent creatures in that spot. What do you think of standard? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I enjoy playing it. Yeah, definitely. Exactly, exactly. I mean, I think that standard, and maybe for the last weekend, the Grixis was was a good deck, but now that uh, Esper Legends has a new list, maybe that deck is better. I I don't know, honestly. I'm gonna see how the format develop from the outside. Um, okay. Oh, the return is... Does it matter? Yeah, sure. Return of... Uh, let's just try it. I'll play two Fables. I mean, Grixis was like 28% of the meta day one. I was 35% of all the meta day two. 
won the tournament. Me and people did did very well with it. So I would say it was, I don't know, maybe if you had exactly a good Esper Legends list, sure. But I don't think the Esper Legends list that was floating around uh, before the wedding announcement one had much of a chance against Grixis. My suggestion is to not play Mono White. Buongiorno, Bausti. All right, we're going to win this match because remember, timer, it's the same thing as life total. I knew after game one that uh, the timer might have had a big uh, uh, role in this match. So, you know, never conceded, clicked all the buttons, and my opponent uh, finished their timer. And we celebrate our win. I'll take another break because this match is lasting forever and I'm drinking a lot of water. We're playing for the trophy, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if I get the trophy with uh, what I. Let's go. Thank you, Fighter Rusher. Let's go for the final. On the play. My hand is bad. I'm going to take a mulligan here. My hand is also bad. Hmm. Hello, Balocks. I don't like that deck. Yes, I'll play another modern deck. We only three dwarf in mind. <laughs> I think exactly for this reason, right? Opponent said uh, they were watching the stream, not it closed, and then they play five four color elementals. Thank you. Uh, against four color elementals, but I want to keep this and mm, I'm only at five. All right, keep this one. Let's botch on this, and uh, what else do I want to bottom? A fetch land? Nah, in case I draw exactly. In case I draw exactly. Randall six next turn. Yeah, let's do this. This league might last a long time, so I, I probably need to play a fast deck afterwards. We'll see. They're a good French player. Nice. Always happy to play against a good player. It's they're also 4-0. Okay, that's nice. Magic the Gathering. It's good when it's against the strong players for uh Decently high stake matches, which are definitely the four row ones. Maybe getting that to try him. Cavern of Sauce, okay. Naming elementals. Playing Abundant Growth. I'll take from the bottom of my deck eggs under lounge. And take a draw. Let go. I saying my average game doesn't have great players. Well, it says if it's unknown, could be anything, right? Could be a player that loses on time and makes you wait uh, half an hour.
and since they play Cavern of Sauce Elementals, they usually don't have counters. Maybe they have Endurance, exactly, but I'm just doing the plan here. Eferino Paperino. Upgrade is Team Vents. Can play Prismari. Draw this card, make a treasure. Discard Archon. Discard the Canon Six. Oh, they bounce the treasure, so they don't draw a card. But it wanted to stop me from going creativity. Maybe they have solitude. That's my guess. I'll go Ren and Six. I'll return a fetch land. I'll go Dwarven Mine, and I'll go Persist on the Archon. Very good Mulligan to 5. Alright, the Sacrifice is a fairy, but uh, if my, my read tells me that they have a uh, Solitude in, in, in hand, or they wouldn't just bounce a token there. This card brings in Reef. That should have a very good matchup against four color elementals. Honestly, it's just one of the reasons why elementals isn't uh, that good in modern. It's because of how bad is the matchup against creativity. I agree, Arceus. It was, uh, I had I had very nice pizzas in Naples. Let's uh, attack the fairy before using my Bren. Uh, what else do I want to do? I'll play Prismari Command, same play, make a treasure, draw a discard. Thank you to Kebidos. Buongiorno. I have to discard two cards. I'll discard the Catcher Trium and um, the Archon, or do I wanna? <sighs> yeah, whatever. I'll discard the Archon. Maybe discard Steam Vents. Yeah, I just discard two lands. Now I'll uh, return one of these lands to give it to Kebidos. Now I'll play a Fable. Play Dwarf with mine. I don't think my opponent plays Supreme Verdict if they play with Reason Reef. And your turn. How does them bouncing the treasure give me give the clue where he has solitude? Uh, because it bouncing the treasure, it's a terrible play normally, right? Because it's a card disadvantage. So if they did that, it's only because they have a solitude, I think. Oh, you have Fury now. Hmm. I didn't think about Fury. Oh no, you have Elishnor. Wow, I didn't think about that. Okay, so Elishnor shuts off my Archon. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. That's Icy or Elishnor draw a card. How do you beat Elish Norn? Not with Leland Binding, I can tell you as much, because Elish Norn stops Leland Binding.
Oh, you have Teferi. Te Teferi. Teferi bounds the Elish Nord. But only of two in my deck. Uh, what should I do here? Well, Renan 6 can return another fetch land, I can tell you as much. Or Steam Vents. Nothing fetch land is better, yes. And then I'll play another Fable. Yeah, I don't mind using the treasure to play Spell Pierce. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind drawing a Creativity. You can Creativity the Elish Norn, of course, I just didn't have it. Looks like they're casting a Solid. Oh, is that an Omnat? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, hopefully I draw uh, a creativity in this game, and th that that should be game over. Uno will get uh, eight life and eight mana with uh, Fetchland. Wow, they don't have a fetch land. Crazy. Do I want to chump block? Do I want to chump block? Probably. Oh, fudge. I didn't think about it. All right, go on to chum block. Nah, I don't. No goblin shambles for me. Sorry, no dwarf for me. Oh, we have a fetch post combat. Interesting. I guess I don't know what what this combo does. I thought it would gain eight and gain eight mana, but that's not how it works. All right, I'm learning a lot here. Uh, do I spell pierce this? I think so. I didn't have a second steam vents anyway. Obviously, I wish I you know, didn't fetch for Dwarven Mind. This way they can't uh, hard cast something. Oh wow, they got a fury. Yeah, creativity from the top now doesn't even work anymore because fury kills everything I have and I just use the treasure. Yeah, I maybe shouldn't have used the treasure. There was a, a lot of plays that were wrong here, unfortunately. I can still do it because I have a Fable flipped, but it's not going to be as good. Hello, Nate. Thank you for the third month. Draw. It's another Fable. Okay. I'll discard these two. Draw a Bolt. Okay. GG go next game. Uh, whenever people say that in my chat, uh, it makes me upset about it. You are free to leave if you don't want to see. Don't tell me to concede. Thank you. Looks like they are playing a solid at the end of turn. Okay. Uh, do I want to bolt the solitude? I think so. Uh, this could mean one extra turn because they attack me only for eight here, down to twelve. Okay. 
Okay, that doesn't work that well, as in it doesn't make two tokens. Only one. We have two cards in end. Okay, we have two more, three more draws to get creativity. Come on. Prismari. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll hold the Prismari. I just discard the mountain. Prismari is okay, right? Yeah, I think it's okay. Creativity. Fire ice. Alright. Um I pass. Stop your Elishnor. Yeah, I think that's what I'm doing. If I draw creativity, it's it's very good. They don't play counter spell. I kill this and I get Archons in play. I'm in a good shape if I draw the card that gives name to my deck. If I don't, I lose, but you know. Telling to concede, it would be... I just... I, don't know, I would never imagine asking for that. If I was watching somebody playing. Anyway, they have two cards in the end. The Ariel that I'm recalling. Hey, this is good now. Uh, okay. What did you get? Solitude. Okay. Let's see if you play it now. You do? Okay. Yes. Why not binding the Elishnor? It is only a legal plain paper. Online it doesn't work. Alright, begin combat. I want to first Ice your uh, Elish Norn draw card. And then I want to Prismari Command, kill the Shaman, make a token. Two damage, make a treasure. Uh, treasure. No, aspetta. Because we just. I want to make two damage, make a treasure. Two damage, make a treasure. Two damage, make a treasure. Go. Four cards in your hand. Sorry, I meant to say one card in your hand. I go to ten. Let's see if it's a land. If it's a land, they can do me four damage with Omnath, but that's okay. Okay, they fetch first. Stomping ground. Uh, what is the first ability? Oh, you dealt me four damage. Yeah, I go to four. Draw. Bolt. Okay. Right, so. Um, I can creativity for three here. One, two, three. How many Archons have left in my deck? Uh, three. Okay. That's creativity for three. One, two, three. Okay. Let's hope they don't have an interaction. First creativity drawing 30 cards. All right. They flip the second Omnath, which is legendary. So it makes them uh, a legend rule it out. They draw a card and then they sacrifice both of their creatures. I go up to 12. They have a so Oh, wow. They drew Solitude and Teferi. Hmm, I wonder why. Oh, yeah, true, because they would have needed to discard them anyway. That's okay, so I go back to 18 life, you go to 11, and you're hellbent. I guess you have a fable, and I have an Archon. Hopefully you don't draw a removal spell for my Archon. Ooh, another creativity draw, very good. Uh, did I make a land already? Hmm, I maybe didn't make a land. I have six, though, so anyway, here we are. Fable is not uh, hasty, so. All right, we win. Good.
do 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 Okay. All right, so let's check the cyber guy for for color omnat. Plus one at you and a minus one lightning bolt only. Do I agree with the sideboarding? Hmm. Oh, I, I banned uh, that uh, chat, Twitch chatter immediately. I, I mean, I may be a little bit too reckless with my bans, but um, I don't know. I feel like if you're right in my chat, you're not a subscriber, and you say concede to me, that's that's enough. You don't. I don't need to. I don't need to read uh, a bad message two times. This is my mind uh, mindset on approaching my chat. It's well curated, yes indeed. Thank you Spock Vidaloka for the third month and thank you Callum62 for the Prime Sub. All right, game number two against Elementals. Hand is not good, but uh, I think it's okay. Yes, Iona for white in this matchup. Did I see the new Lord of the Ring cards? I did. It reminds me, seeing those two cards reminds me when uh, Modern Horizons 1 came out and they, the first two cards that came out was uh, Sarah the Planeswalker and Cabal Therapist. And they said something like, this is more or less the power level of the, floor, of the set. <laughs> this reminds me of the same thing. Like the first two cards, just, you know, unplayable. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens next. Probably the next cards will be, will be... Very good card. All right, let's keep the Xana Lounge in because I have Ren and Six plus Team Benz here. Ooh, nice draw. You still have your foil Cabal Therapies that cost you 20 euros? No way. No way. Credzoro. What are you doing? <laughs> one mana one one, Kredzora. We can't play that. One mana one one, it's like surgical extraction, basically. It's the same thing, it's like card disadvantage. Did they see any play about therapist and Sarah? I mean, you can play it. <laughs> How does creativity match up against Amulet Titan decks? I don't know. I mean, maybe Amulet is favored, but I have Wear Terrors in my sideboard. Whenever I wear Terrors and Force of Vigor in my sideboard, um, yeah, I feel like you can always win. I don't think that every time you do that, you win. Anyway, let's bolt the Goblin Shaman token. Return and fetch land. Play, what do you want to play here? Maybe I don't want to play a fetch land here. Oh, no, that's not true. Let's play a fetch land. And get, what, a triumph? Yeah. I think there's also one mana one one. Okay. Sometimes there's an exception. Cabal Therapist. Cabal Therapist is doing good company. I guess also Dragon's Ray Chandler, it's a one mana one one. The art is where favorite. That's okay. They discarded Teferi and Adam Recall. Ella Madonna. They discarded Adam Recall. 
with the chat. Let's watch out for Orvar, eh? Let's watch out for Orvar. Yeah, I feel like I'm losing this game. I'm also up of up five minutes. Are we winning back-to-back -back match on timer? Is this gonna be the slowest league I've ever played? Young Wolf? Oh no, Young Wolf is bad. So that's that's fine. That's acceptable. Man, this is the easiest Orvar I've ever seen. No, they don't have a land. They don't have a land. They don't have a land. No, 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 no. Don't move, chat. Don't move. Don't move. Remember the rules. If they don't move, you don't move. They'd be like, but Mango, they moved. I know, but they don't have lands, so they're behind. So that, let's not make them go solid shield my token. Or even have Orvar. Ren and Tix? No, 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 no. Say Matto. Oh, oh. Get out. I'm just waiting. I'm playing my dwarf. I attack. I don't have to, I don't have anywhere to go here. I return my Xander Lounge. I mean, if you've seen this league, you understand how I play this deck. Just don't move. This is a control deck that has a combo. It's not a combo deck. This is like uh, the uh, Wilderness Reclamation or whatever, Splinter Twin. You put the Exarch end of turn, you don't put Twin on it. What do you do if you expect Orvar? You make Orvar rot in their hand there. That, that, that's what I'm, I'm going to do. Or I play Creativity when I know that I have uh, so many hits, or Teferi for example. That I I can play around Orvar. You can play around, yeah, you can play around Orvar, as long as you don't just type out play creativity for one or two. The Teferi is is the best way to play around Orvar, honestly. All right, they drew a land finally. Yeah, we have two Arkans left and a Yona. Ooh, Teferino. I hold all the Arkans in my hand. Simply because I have Ren to draw the. Sand Lounge. I'll play Teferino Paperino. Have I seen the possibility to play Search for Ascant in this deck? I have not seen the possibility. No. Uh, what do you do with Teferino? Hmm. I think I like to plus it, yes. And the reason why I didn't make a dwarf here is because of uh, fury. I don't want fury to kill all my creatures. Do we have enough swamps to cast the archon? Yes. What does prego mean? Prego is uh, what you say to Grazia. Grazia, prego. Read Mango Guide, always. Always read Mango Guide, watch Mango Video. That's the best way to learn modder and win at magic. La, 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 5 with creativity. Di, 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 di. La, 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 la. Oh, at least there are two lands. We got Archons for days. Uh, 
You're also a 4 -oh with the same list of creativity. Nice. Yeah, I mean, again, I, I've tested this list a lot. Uh, I think it's very good. Uno e due. Ok. Uno, due, tre, quattro e cinco. They're gonna put the uh, ore bar into play. They can't play Solitude because I have Iona. So they put Orvar and then we bounce it with Teferi. And that's GG. Yeah, told you they had it. Ping. As soon as they discarded out Amri Call to Fable on turn three, I called you. They have Orvar. So we just carefully play around it. No harm. Attack. E pass. Mm -hmm. GG, all right, that's the trophy. Good stuff, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, yeah, probably best deck in the format. I don't know, I feel like, I, I, I swear, every time I play this deck, it feels like so good. Sometimes when I play Merktide against this deck, I beat it and I'm like, maybe it's not so good. I don't know. Thank you, people, with a gifted sub. Appreciate people. GG's, everybody. GG's. Thank you all for watching. If you watched on uh, YouTube, I suggest you to uh, subscribe to the channel so you'll stick around and see the next videos. Leave a comment, like, and uh, if you want to support for free, Support for free, it's kind of fun because it's obviously spending money, but you can use the um, TCG um, uh, affiliate uh, link when purchasing from there. All right, bye.